Hi guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Today we're going back over to the Yankee und Kraut Brewery over in, Ilg in Ingolstadt here in Germany, in Bavaria. And uh, actually uh, the results came out of like the Right Beer Awards and uh, yeah, Yankee und Kraut were awarded the best uh, new brewery in Bavaria. So very, very well done. And uh, yeah, fantastic brewery. I've got a whole playlist of their beers down below. I don't think I've had every beer up to this point brewed by them, but I've enjoyed each and every one of them and very, very well deserving of you know the best new Bavarian brewer. So this is the Apatosa or Apatosa, which is an IPA. Yeah, Apotiosa. Um Yeah, an IPA. Um, I think I've only had a, a beer similar to like the Pale Ale, which was the Eden Pale Ale, I think it was. So yeah, very looking, very looking forward, very much looking forward to checking this one out. Coming in at six point eight percent, got some absolutely gorgeous artwork once again from Paul uh, Gabowski. I think that is. Um, yeah, just. Beautiful, beautiful hand-drawn stuff. Reminds me of the, the Neeston Control Center Collective back in the UK, some of their work. Fantastic artists and designers themselves, you should look them up, I'll put a link down below. But I'll also put a link down below to this guy's stuff because he's done some fantastic artwork. And then you get some lovely artwork on the neck label. And then of course is the Yankee und Kraut uh, cap. So I'm not sure what hops are used, I'm not sure what style of IPA this one is. You probably can find out information on their Facebook page and website and stuff, but yeah, a relatively new release as far as I know. And uh, yeah, looking forward to giving this a try. And uh, I picked up my good friend Craig from Kent Beer Reviews, picked him up a bottle as well to send over. So uh, yeah, hopefully he gets it and has reviewed it himself before I upload this one because I'm um, recording this on like the 3rd of February and I've got videos uploaded up until the 18th of March so I'm quite ahead. Anyway, let's get on with the beer in question. Uh, this hasn't really been chilling for that long, I mean it's not at room temperature or anything like that. But um, yeah, so I can hopefully get a lot more of that flavour. So, beer in a glass, only pouring a little bit in. Uh, that is a lovely sort of like slightly rusty orangey colour with maybe some slight amber hues in there. Uh, in terms of clarity, um, it isn't like a hazy beer by any stretch, but you know, it's distorted enough so it's got a nice sense of a light opacity to it. Uh, nice gentle carbonation and just look at that head. Lovely foamy, almost creamy in some parts. Uh, slightly off-white, maybe a little bit of like a, a light pale eggshell, uh, like where you get brown eggs, not completely white egg. What the fuck am I talking about? But yeah, beer pod for about one finger's worth of head. And it looks like a very solid and inviting IPA thus far. So let's give a little bit of a swirl and see what we get on to aroma. And that's a lovely gentle medley of hops. You get maybe a slight tropical element to it as well. A little bit of orange, a little bit of lemon. Like a nice creamy mango sort of aroma too. Get a bit of lychee, hint of grapefruit on the bitterness side of things. That like ranch trees fruit pastel sort of aroma as well. Just a very pleasant textbook smelling IPA with like a little bit of like a herbaceous and dank element to it as well. Yeah, it smells good, looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Prost. And it delivers on the flavour. Yankee and Kraut have got a winner again. Um, every beer that I've tried by these guys has just been fantastic. Um, no real negative points. 
you know, not like a, just a run of a mill of that style. In fact, some of their styles that they've done, especially in their collaborative work, has been, you know, a little bit more experimental. But this is just a lovely, simple, fruity, slightly bitter IPA. It's a lovely medley of fruit juices in there. You definitely get that mango. You definitely get that grapefruit bitterness on the back end, although it's cut down a little bit, as if you've cut through that with some uh, natural sweetener, maybe. It's got an ever so slightly velvety feel on the mouth. It's not a, it's a medium body, but it's not really creamy at the same time. It's just this lovely, lovely common middle ground. And yeah, we're living in an age now where people are wanting these New England, you know, overly fruity IPAs, which don't get me wrong, the ones that I've tried, that I've tried to do that style, have been delicious. But it's good to see that there are still some people out there who are just brewing some really good old fashioned, not like old school IPAs, but like more of like the, the West Coast style, I'd presume. I mean, I'm not too much of an expert to differentiate from, you know, style within styles, but yeah, this is just a lovely, lovely, there's nothing intense about it. Bitterness picks up more on the back end after you're finishing it. You don't really get that at the front. You get more of like a tropical fruity sort of flavour. And yeah, that lovely hop profile in there as well. Citrusy, but not too much. It's got a nice little zing to it, but it's still gentle. And uh, yeah, this is a very, very solid IPA. And as much as I love the German craft beer scene, I've had quite a few IPAs from some of the brewers here where it's been like a little bit, they played it a bit too safe. But this is just an absolutely wonderful, easy drinking. 6.8%, uh, you're not getting that at all. No way is that a 6.8% beer. Hmm. It's beautiful, really, really is. Uh, just about to uh, tuck into a chicken wrap. That's going to complement that. Absolutely beautiful, that sort of cuisine because it just cuts through with that bitterness on the back end, some of those flavours. I mean, you could drink most beers with any food, to be, on, to be honest, at the end of the day, but this on its own, you're just going to enjoy it. You're going to sink it back, live in the moment, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful IPA. And uh, I can't pick out any faults. <laughs> Excuse me. This is my style of beer right here. They've nailed it. And uh, yeah, both in terms of its style and a beer on its own, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. Yankee und Kraut, done it again. Beautiful beer. If you ever get the opportunity to try it, because I think they're starting to get a bit more out there, which is rightfully so. And hopefully this accolade from Rate Beer will get uh, these distributors interested because there's definitely a market for the beer. And uh, yeah, beautiful stuff. 10 out of 10. So check out my uh, Yankee und Kraut playlist down below. Check out Yankee und Kraut themselves. Pick this up from Beretta, so of course. Check out Beretta if you ever find yourself in Regensburg, then definitely pop, pop in. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you later. Cheers.